Hi, I'm Rob McEntee. I'm with Global Emergency Products. We're here at FDIC with Rockville, Indiana's uh, pumper that they are getting ready to take delivery of. It's a two-door extended cab 4400 International with a top mount Pierce body. Um, this truck has some unique features on it, one of which is the extended front bumper with a full width crosslay. With this particular setup, they've got enough hose that they can take into a house fire or something like that rather than just having a small or short trash line. As we move to the back, I have a two-door extended cab international. This truck has a third seat within the extended portion. There's an EMS compartment on both sides with shelving and then with a uh, power strip here on the inside of the cab is the extended cab with the extra air pack seat in the very back. When we get to the other side of the truck, I can actually show you how the balance of the uh, cab is uh, functioning. This is a two-door top mount with uh, speed lays. With the speed lays, there's a poly tray with each one. The poly tray can be removed, set on the ground. It can be repacked with hose and then placed right back into operation right away. It has LED scene lights, so there's no generator on this truck. The LED scene lights can be controlled from the cab so they can look for an address and route to a call. Or when they're stationary and pumping, they can control the uh, scene lights from up at the pump panel as well. This is a 1250 GPM pump and it carries a thousand gallons of water. Roll up doors here in the back on the body. We have triple SCBA compartments. On the driver's side, on the passenger side, we just did a storage area and we'll show that to you in just a minute. Hard suction hose on the catwalk on the driver's side here. And then to use up available space, what we did was is that we put a hatch compartment on the passenger side above the catwalk. So we're using every available space that's on this truck. Ladders are placed in the rear, 24 or 14, a 10 foot and two pike poles. Additional compartment space here. And again, instead of having a instead of having SCBA storage, this is just general storage within this particular compartment here. We did two of these, one on either side, for just using as much space as we possibly could. On either side of the truck, we have storage that's under the crosswalk area. Again, we're trying to use every available space that's on this truck. Underneath each of the EMS compartments on the extended cab is additional compartments on either side. When we get in here to the cab, you can see that the officer's seat is spring-loaded, which facilitates the officer or the firefighter in the very back who's uh, air packed up to be able to get out of the truck and not get hung up on a seat. I'd like to thank Rockville for the opportunity to build this outstanding piece of equipment for them and uh, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video.